Shifting our focus now to Uruguay, where thousands of outraged women have marched on the streets of Montevideo to protest against the rape culture which prevails in the country. This comes as Uruguay has reported a string of sexual assault cases in the past few weeks. The protest was organized by feminist leaders across the nation. Demonstrators carried banners and signs to voice against harassment and violence against women. Protesters chanted slogans like no means no and it is not audacity, it is rape in the long march. Now, these protesters complain that it is not the culprits who are targeted, but the victims who have to bear the brunt of the assaults. Bueno, estamos acá por, por una situación puntual que nos aterró a todas, que tiene que ver con, con la violación grupal, con la indignación, con la rabia, pero también respondiendo a que estos no son casos aislados, que estas situaciones pasan todo el tiempo, que nos pasa a las mujeres, que les pasa a las disidencias, que pasa a los niños, niñas y adolescentes en los propios hogares. Entonces esto es algo que tenemos que denunciarlo. The mobilization took place after a 30-year-old woman was brutally gang-raped in the capital of Montevideo last weekend. Now, the woman reported the incident happened when she left the nightclub with a man to go to his apartment. The rape was later confirmed by forensic analysis. Following this, the culprits were later summoned to court. Demonstrators, however, say the protest is not only because of the latest incident, but also because of the heightened sexual assault cases which have unfortunately normalized rape in the society. Eh, cuando hablamos de la cultura de la violación, lo que estamos comentando es la naturalización que, que está por parte de la sociedad en los actos de, de violación. Que el acto de violación no es un acto sexual, no es que los hombres son impulsivos sexualmente y no pueden manejar sus instintos. No, es que está avalado por la sociedad que las mujeres seamos violadas. Eh, cuando decimos que el no es no... Parece una consigna que es bastante tonta, pero lo tenemos que seguir repitiendo. Muchas compañeras, a muchas de nosotras nos ha pasado que es más fácil decir que sí antes que decir que no, algo que no quiero porque si digo que no, no sé cómo va a reaccionar la persona. The frustrated protesters have called on the government to enact strict measures for the protection of women. According to the Uruguayan women, although a comprehensive law against gender-based violence was passed in previous government's term in power, no budget was ever allocated for its implication.